Hi, and welcome everyone. My name is Beth Huffland, and I'm the marketing manager here in North America, and I'll be the moderator for today's session. Before we begin, I'd like to let you know that this session will be recorded and we'll share it on our YouTube channel later this week. As we begin, if you have any questions or would like some clarification, there's a chat feature in WebEx where you can post your questions. And we'll use the last five to 10 minutes of this session to review any questions that you may have. With that, I'm happy to introduce today's presenter, Tom Meckler. He's our regional marketing manager here in North America. His focus is on intrusion products and has over 35 plus years in the industry and with Bosch. He specializes in adapting today's technology to the needs of the alarm industry. So thank you, Tom, for being here today, and I'll pass it over to you. Thanks, Beth, and thanks to everyone who's joining us today. I'm very happy to talk with you today about Bosch Security Manager, which is our smartphone app that gives you full system control from anywhere of your Bosch systems. Bosch Security Manager gives you full flexibility. This is an end user app. It's designed for your end users to manage their systems. It's really ideal for small commercial, other commercial uh, locations, especially those multi locations where someone might be responsible for multiple uh, stores, multiple buildings, multiple offices, etc. It's free to download and install on your Apple or your Android device. And we're going to talk a little bit later about how you as a dealer can enable your users to use Bosch Security Manager. So as I said, a couple of times gives you complete security from your or security control from your smartphone. It offers user management from anywhere. That's important. We'll talk about that. It gives you push notifications that you can filter. We'll talk about those as well. It's very easy to install and operate. We're finding that users, once they get in their hand, just know how to use it. So, so that's pretty cool. I've got some screenshots that I'll show you that give you an idea of what, what the app looks like when you're when you're operating it. And one of those screenshots or two of those screenshots here, you're probably aware that Bosch intrusion panels integrate with Bosch cameras. You know, all Bosch cameras are IP cameras, and we have some really great features there that tie the capabilities of our cameras into our intrusion panels, such as the intrusion panel can report for events that, that might be uh, detected by the camera's video analytics. In addition to that, if you're using Bosch Security Manager, you can see live video from the cameras that are integrated to that particular control panel. So if you're trying to get a feel for what that store looks like before you press the arm button, or is that really Jim who's by the back door who wants to get in, uh, you can use Bosch Security Manager to bring up all of your cameras and scroll through all of them, or just uh, view a specific camera so you can get a little more specific view on that. But it's a really nice feature that allows you to see that live video from one of the cameras that's integrated to the control panel. Bosch panels, uh, several of our control panels also include, include an access control feature. So this is access control that's specifically part of the intrusion panel. Bosch Security Manager gives you control of that as well. So you can, from the app, lock, unlock, cycle, and secure a door and any of your doors that you have access to from the app. So what this allows you to do is somebody forgot their key or their card and you want to let them in the back door, you can cycle it just like they had swiped their car. Something bad has happened and you walk, want to lock down everything, you can press the secure button and secure the door so no one could use it, even if they have a valid card. And of course, you can lock or unlock the doors uh, depending on the situation. But you have that complete control right in the palm of your hand with Bosch Security Manager. Some of the other features and information about Bosch Security Manager so it, it provides access to select panels linked to that particular customer's ID. So as the installer and integrator, you assign or invite customers to each 
control panel that you'd like them to have access to with with Bosch Security Manager. So it isn't, you know, it's just a wild west here. You get to select which customers can do it, and they'll use a Bosch ID that they will register with us, with our cloud, and then you'll simply use their email address and their smartphone uh, phone number in order to log them into that particular panel. And what's nice about that is once they're logged into a panel, once they have access, they can do that on multiple devices, they can switch phones, and you don't have to do anything. So once their ID is tied to a particular control panel or control panels, you don't have to make any changes if they go get a new phone or they want to use two phones, whatever makes sense for them. The basic functionality, of course, is to turn the system on or off, bypass selected points, so you have complete control of the system from your smartphone. And the, the classic example there is, you know, I'm, I'm responsible for maybe all the Dunkin' Donuts in Monroe County here in Western New York, and, and somebody forgot to arm the one on the other side of town, and I really don't want to get up from the football game to have to drive over across town and arm that Dunkin' Donuts. So I take out my phone, I bring up that, that panel, I can look at the cameras and make sure everything's okay and press the arm button and I can go back to watching my football game. So it's so it's it makes it a lot easier for the end user. Uh, the system status is rated right at a glance. You can see those circles that are down in the light, uh, right hand side of this slide, red for armed, green for disarmed, orange, there's some areas that are armed and some areas that are not yellow for partially on so there's uh, maybe they've armed just the perimeter all of that's just really easy to use and really easy to see event driven push notifications what the system allows you to do is when you're using the app you can select which push notifications you'd like to get so if there's an event that you that end user needs to know about uh, that's going to come right to their phone as long as they're using the app you can view full event history and i'm going to go back to another slide here that shows the dashboard so if we look here we see this dashboard this is the status of the air, the entire system this is the status of individual areas within the system and this is the last couple of history events so i know who armed the system last who disarmed the system last what hey, somebody changed the user code here. That kind of information is always available. <clears throat> Bosch panels have a lot of different functionality. One of those functions is called custom functions. And what we can do with that is we can tie multiple events into one action. For example, lock all the doors because we have a lockdown situation. Or arm this area, bypass those points, turn on those lights, because we want to arm the system in a particular way for a particular situation. Those custom functions are a feature of the control panel, and now they're also a feature of the app. So you can go to the app and select a custom function and activate that. And my favorite example there is, let's say you're responsible for security in the school, and tonight they're going to have a basketball game, and you would like to arm the entire school except the gymnasium and the locker room and the doors in that general area of the school well you can do that if you walk up to the keypad and press a bunch of buttons but you can also create a custom function for that that arms where people are not supposed to be and disarms where people are supposed to be unlocks the appropriate doors it with one button and you can activate that button from bosch security manager in addition, you can cycle outputs, turn outputs on and off. Of course, I showed you, you can um, access the doors and any of the cameras that are enabled with the intrusion panel. Here's a few screenshots that show you what the different screens look like when you are in the app. That one along the left there, those are the push notifications. So that's what the push notifications look like when you when they're sent to your phone and if you look really close you'll see my kids hiding behind there because that is my phone <laughs> and this one here is shows you how you manage push notifications so each user can select whether they want to get push notifications or not and they can select from four different categories 
access arming alarm and system events. So do they only want to know if there's an alarm or do they want to know every time someone has armed or disarmed the panel? Or do they need to know if there's a low battery, an AC failure, those kinds of things. So they have full flexibility and they can change that whenever they want. So there might be certain situations where they really do want to know who's arming and disarming the system. And sometimes maybe they just don't care or maybe it's them, so they don't need to. But that's full flexibility right at your fingertips. The ability to bypass or unbypass points, that's here. It shows you the point status. So you can bring that up and view what's going on with all the points in my system right now. Uh, can I, uh, do I need to bypass one of those? Is one bypass that I need to unbypass? That's done by, uh, by point and uh, right here in the screen. The event log, so I showed you the dashboard which shows some events within the, uh, within the event log. This allows you to scroll through all the events in the event log. So you can see everything that's happened in that panel of uh, forever, basically, or at least for 10,000 events, if it's one of our big panels, the 9512. And a big thing, passcode changes. The ability to add and delete passcodes from the smartphone. And the, uh, of course, the, the scenario there is, let's go back to I'm the guy with the Dunkin' Donuts, and I have to fire somebody. They're going to leave my organization, and I want their passcode out of all of my stores. Well, I can go to my app and take them out of each panel uh, right from the app. I don't have to call the integrator. I don't have to uh, get in with some other software. I can go right to my smartphone and I can do that. Another important point about passcodes is the authority level. And with Bosch Security Manager, your passcode authority with the app is the same as your passcode authority at the keypad. So for example, if I have the ability to add and delete passcodes at the keypad, I have the ability to add and delete passcodes at the app. And if I don't have the ability to add and delete passcodes at the keypad, I can't do it at the app. If I have access to a particular area at the keypad, again, I have access to that area in the app. If I don't have access to that area at the keypad, I don't even see it in the app. So it's just like it gives you the exact same control that you would have if you were at the keypad. So as an integrator, you don't have to figure out, okay, what authority am I gonna give them in the app? Is that different than the one they have at the keypad? No, it's tied to their passcode and their authority is the same everywhere. And speaking about dealers, there's a couple features of BSM that are going to be really important to you. One is a dealer locator, dealer contact button. So when you create that invitation for that end user to use their app, you can customize that with your dealer information, your logo, your contact information, your email, your website. And right from the app, they can press that button and call you or send you an email right from their smartphone. So that makes it really simple for your customers to contact you and it really it helps to make them sticky so that they, you know, they know, oh yeah, it's just easy for me to call A1 security. I just press this button and and Joe from A1 will pick up the phone and I'm ready to go. The other thing, and you can start playing with this right now, but wait till after the presentation, <laughs> is our demo, is our demo mode. So in the app, if you download the app, you can go into a demo mode and you can try it out, or you can give this to your customers so they can try it out. So they can see what will it look like when I download this thing and then and, and I start using it. So there's a lot of dealer benefits as well. What do you need to get started? So what do you need to install and use Bosch Security Manager? Well, as an installer, you need to be installed in our installer services portal. And if you're using our cellular products, if you're already using our, our Bosch Connect service to connect your panels to our cloud, then you, are, you have an account within our Bosch installer services. You'll use that account in order to uh, add and delete users to the app. So when you're in installer services, you're gonna set up that control panel for remote programming and for mobile services. So that's within your portal. You'll go to the portal, and you'll be able to select what you want that panel to be able to do. And then 
you'll use RPS to invite your customers to particular control panels. There's, there's a button right within RPS that allows you to manage your remote, uh, your Bosch Security Manager users, and you'll enter their email address, the email address that they used when they when they create their profile, and which panel you want them to have access to. Sends them a text, they're good to go. Your customers will download the app from from the um, from the Google Play Store, from the Apple App Store, and then you'll give them that, abil that ability. As soon as they log in, it's going to ask them to create a, an account within our Bosch identi identity management system. So the, you will send that customer an in, uh, invitation. They're gonna see that in the app. If they're not registered within our system, it's gonna ask them to register. They'll put in their user, their email address and, and their username that they'd like. It'll create that. Once they're logged in and they log in using those credentials, it will log them into their panels and they'll be able to connect into all the panels that you gave them access to. And again, the access is tied to that user's identity, not to a particular device. So if they want to do this from their iPad or they have multiple phones, they can log into the identity management system from any of those devices and log in and use the app from multiple devices. So what do you need? Well, you need one of our B or G series panels, and it needs to be a cloud enabled panel that is connected to our cloud via the remote connect service. You need a limit, at least 3.06 firmware. Uh, we're shipping 3.12 now. So if you're getting new panels, they're gonna have 3.12 and that's always recommended to get the latest uh, firmware in the panel because you'll get the latest uh, features. You'll need RPS at least 6.10. Again, we have, we're shipping 6.12 right now and 6.12 will give you the, the, the best features. The end user device has to have an operating system of 12 if it's an Apple device or eight if it's an Android device. I think we're up to 15, I'm not sure, but, but that's, not, that's not a big ask to be at, at uh, iOS 12 or eight. Some sort of communicator. Now, if the panel is connected to the network, then that's all you need. It'll connect out to our cloud through the internet and you're, and you're good to go but you can use our cellular communicator for service as well. You of course need to be signed up for installer services, which you already are if you're using our cellular services or you are using any panels that are connected to Remote Connect. And the customer needs to log in for their ID. And then of course, you just need to download the latest application, uh, the BSM application from your favorite Google Play Store or the Apple Store. And that's it, it's simple, it's easy peasy, simple to use, but very powerful for your customers. And I'm gonna open up now to any questions. Uh, Beth, I don't know if there's any questions in the chat that we can address. Yes, there is. Um, so thank you, Tom. And we do have a few questions. So thank you for those who submitted them in the chat. Um, so we do still have some time. If you'd like to enter you know, anything you think of right now, we can try to get to it. And if we do run out of time, we'll reach out through email. Um, but starting off, is there a limit to the number of panels one user, or sorry, one app user can have access to? We don't think so. And of course, <laughs> to say, oh, it's unlimited, nothing's unlimited, right? But it's, it's designed to have hundreds and hundreds. So, so I don't think there really is a limit. I, I think the official word is it's unlimited but I'm awfully cautious with words like unlimited. So it's certainly hundreds of panels that you can manage with one app. Okay, great. On that same note, can I control more than one panel at a time with BSM? Yeah, you can. You're only connecting to one panel at a time, but you can, you can have multiple panels. So if I wanna arm and disarm two stores, I'm gonna connect to those panels one at a time, but it will allow me to have multiple systems that I control. Okay, and can I restrict someone from changing passcodes in the app? Yes, you can, as long as, if you have a user who doesn't have 
the ability to change pass codes at the keypad, they cannot change them at the app. So you can control it in that way. Whatever authority that customer has at the keypad is the same they'll have at the app. Okay, great. And does the app work if all I have is cellular connection? Sure, yes it can. Our, our Bosch cellular service allows the panel to connect to our cloud service, our remote connect service, even through cellular. You don't have to have the IP connection. So yeah, you can use cell only and use one of our plans to provide that service as well without any internet connection. And that's important because you know we're we're selling this system and we we support the commercial business and sometimes commercial businesses don't want anything on their network getting out or getting in. So cellular is a great uh, alternative to that. So yes, you can use cellular only for this. Okay. And how do I disable a user from using the app if they've left the company? That's simple. You take their passcode out of the panel because when they go to log into the panel, they're going to uh, enter their passcode. And if that passcode is not valid and that's not in the panel, it won't let them in. So it's as simple as going to the panel, taking their, their passcode out and it doesn't work anymore. And you, of course you can do that right from the BSM app. You can do it from RPS, from RPS Lite, whatever makes sense. Okay, another one is, can user codes be pushed to multiple panels at once, or do you need to log into each panel individually? With Bosch Security Manager, you need to log into each panel individually. We do have other options that can push codes to multiple panels at once. Our uh, UMM, user management software, allows you to do that. Our AMS access control software does that. We have some partners that do that, Genetech and, Con and Connected Technology. This app itself is on a panel by panel basis in that regard though. Okay, um, are there any licensing required? No additional licensing. You've already signed an agreement with our installer services portal and that covers all of that. So no additional licensing. There is, when you're using the, the connection for the app, there's a $2 fee per control panel that that you need to cover, but that's per control panel, not per user. So that's about it. That's the, that's the only licensing. Okay. Is a specific tester needed for data transmission between mobile devices and applications? Uh, I'm not sure I understand that question. Is there a specific tester needed? No, I don't think so. If the panel is connecting to our remote connect services and the phone can get to the internet, it ought to just work. So maybe we can, if that person could send me an email on that and if that doesn't cover their question, because I'm not sure I understand that question completely. Okay, a next good one then is, where can I get more information on Bosch Security Manager? It, you know, it, it sounds kind of like a current answer, but answer, but the Google is a great tool. If you Google Bosch Security Manager app, you'll find our brochure, which you can use for your customers. You'll also find several videos on the YouTube channel. So it'll show you a, a complete demo of the, of the app on YouTube. There's a video there. There's video of the individual screens on how to, uh, how to enroll a customer. So really, uh, YouTube's a great tool for that. Of course, our website, we have the brochure that you can use for that as well. Okay, wonderful, thank you. Um, I think that's everyone we can get to today. I think we got all the questions. Um, if we did miss yours, or if you have any more um, questions that arise, you can reach out to myself or Tom, um, or we'll follow up with you. So thank you so much for your participation. And please uh, follow Bosch to learn more about all of these great solutions that we have. We have a LinkedIn page, our website, and then the YouTube channel Tom just mentioned. So yep, well, thank you. Thank you so Thanks, Elizabeth, for your help. We do have another question. Uh, is the app available for Latin America? Not yet, because the services are not available in Latin America, but that's, uh, that's being considered. I think that's the question, right? Is yes. the app available in LA? I assume they don't mean Los Angeles. I think they mean, uh, okay. 
All right. Well, thank you, everyone. We appreciate your time. Use Bosch Security Manager. It's a great app. It's really easy. Customers really like it. I, I personally use it every day with my intrusion system at home. It's it's really a it's really a great tool, and I think it can help you earn more recurring uh, revenue with your customers and and help you make your customers happier because they can use today's technology to control their systems. So thank you very much and have a wonderful holiday and holiday season. All that's coming up, and we appreciate your time today.